We talk about a variety of things. It's a little bit of our weekly State of the Union of the ministry also. We discuss a number of things. We answer your questions. And so we've been gone for a little while. We've been gone for that 40-day trip, but we are back now, and we're so glad to be with you. And if you would right now, please repost this, share this somewhere, because we're going to get into things answer some of your questions today that we believe will be very helpful to you. And of course, while we're here, feel free to ask questions. We may not get to them today, but we could include them in a future No Limits like we're doing today. We have a number of questions we've got to get to from some of the previous ones over the last several weeks. Now, we've had quite the adventure on this last journey we were on, and I want to right out of the gate mention to you that June 11th, June the 11th, it's a, uh, a 7 p.m. live broadcast, June the 11th, Tuesday night, we're going to be doing a very special prophetic broadcast talking about Noah's Ark, our 40-day journey, so much of what we had experienced there. I want to convey to you, show you video of it, but also I want to go into a prophetic narrative that I believe God is showing me something about the future of this nation and where we're headed. You don't want to miss that. Sign up for it right now. And when I say sign up, it means you get notified when we're live. So please sign up by text to join with the number 719-719-3637. You text the keyword join, or you could go to the josephz.com website, and on the website, you can see the event there. You can click that, and it'll help you uh, get notified for when this is happening. Or if you see the event page for it on Facebook or some other platform for Joseph Z, make sure you double-check on josephz.com. And then you can uh, be a part of this event June the 11th at 7 p.m. Colorado time. We're going to do a very special live broadcast for ministry for you and our 40-day our journey. We're going to recap it, but really show you some unique things, especially about Noah's Ark. And then we're going to prophesy about what I feel is coming for the nation. So we got a lot to get into today. And of course, we're here. I'm, I'm joined by a lot of the team today. Not everybody, but a handful of us are here and our team is growing. So Right out of the gate, I want to welcome uh, Miss Mary, Mary or Coley. Welcome. Good morning. Hey, it's good to good see to you, Mary. Here. Thanks for being with us. Mary's going to moderate a little bit, ask mm -hmm. questions that many of you have asked. Yep. So it's good. Who's that next to you, Mary? Who do we got here? This is the beautiful Ariel. Oh, Ariel's with <laughs> us. Hello, hello. Now, it's, <laughs> now, what's great about Ariel is Ariel's been with us for, my goodness, 13 years. Yeah. And off and on, you know, uh, your husband, Brandon, went through our Bible college that I yeah. built in Minnesota years ago. Oh, yeah. And you've Eight just four. been with us through thick and thin, off and on. And we're so glad you're with us again in this season, Ariel. It's awesome. Mm. Thank you so much. It's yeah. an honor to be here. Oh, well, we're thrilled. We're going to get into a lot today. So I'm glad you're here. And of course, we have our, our awesome duo, the media guys. Uh, everybody knows because I refer to this all the time, but it's Elijah. Elijah, please say hello to everybody. Hello, Joseph. There hello, he is. Everyone. <laughs> this is my Russian apprentice. He's, um, Elijah's a man of God. And who's that next to you, Elijah? That is Eric, my apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> my apprentice. My young apprentice. Hi, everyone. Hey. It's great to be here. Good to have you guys. So mm -hmm. Elijah and Eric are going to help us with this. You know, of course, we're here with you guys this morning. So welcoming those guys. Then, of course, we have the one and only, none other than the legendary harvest master, Jason Chandler. Jason, say hello to everybody. Good morning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. good morning. Good <laughs> morning. Hello. No, it's good to see you this morning. Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. That's that's Brazilian. Obrigado. I remember we were in Brazil. Look at me, I'm multilingual. You are. <laughs> you have farmer lingo for every language. So when we were in Brazil, they say obrigado. And Jason kept trying to speak the language. So he finally just said armadillo. <laughs> They'd be like, obrigado, and he'd say, armadillo. <laughs> so it's great. Uh, and of course, sunshine, Allison Joy is here. Hi. Hey, everybody. Good Hello. to have you, honey. Glad you're Good with us. Good to be us. on here. This is our daughter, Heather and I's daughter, Allison Joy. Hello. And last but certainly not least is Heather, Hi. Lady Z. How Good. are you doing, honey? I'm doing awesome. Good morning, everyone. I hope you have your coffee. I hope you're all situated. And uh, enjoying the morning. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. I'm looking forward to today. We've got some good questions. We've had a lot of momentum yeah. this season. Um, you know, when you're, when you're going on trips like we just did, this 40-day journey, yeah. that's not something when you got a lot of momentum, you go, I know, I'm going to abandon ship, <laughs> and I'm going to leave for 40 days. Yeah. You're all on your own. Enjoy. <laughs> and 
we did it by the word of the Lord, but yes. we also did it. We stayed in good communication with everybody. We even did some broadcasts from as we were away, mm -hmm. and it was great. So, yeah. yeah, good to see you again, Allie. Good to see you. Glad you're back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, yeah. We'll be back for a few days. I got right yeah. back and lost my voice immediately yeah. for about five days. Yeah. That was something else. Yeah. But it's been good. Thank yeah. God for the intercessors. And our prayer team. Oh man, mm -hmm. for sure. We have yeah. the Amen. best prayer people. Yeah. yeah. Some of the ladies that, that call in or they, they reach out, they just, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that we have an anointing because so many yeah. ladies are praying. Yeah. There's a lot of guys True. praying too, but specifically the grandmas. Mm -hmm. They are my favorite. Yes. We've had, we've had a few of them say, well, we've adopted you and mm -hmm. we receive it. Yes. Yes. Oh, we, do. we receive True. it. Yes. It's been awesome. So lovely. They, you know, when you have that kind of veteranship who has spent time and hours in the word and prayer and praying, we just, there it is a high value when you're praying for us because we respond to prayer very much. It's, we do. It's awesome. We appreciate it. You know, and that just also makes me think about this too, but our partners, you know, when you partner with us, we're so grateful to you. I mean, we, we actually, just before we, we jumped on here, we were praying the partners actually Ariel was praying over the partners mm -hmm. before we jumped on and we take it really serious it's a mm -hmm. it's we got quite a family I am shocked sometimes when I hear the updates as to how many people find value in this broadcast mm -hmm. and that are here I mean Jason you see the numbers all the time of people and those that jump in and mm -hmm. it, it it's an honor that anybody would listen you know yeah. isn't it well we've had such momentum and the plans that we have for this year we're actually pushing past and we're going to go ahead and start our remodel process early because we need the space so desperately to get the staff in here that we need to support mm -hmm. our partners. Yeah. So. And that'll make you happier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> if Jason's happy, everybody's happy. But it's a real thing because yeah. we, we are actually needing to expand because the growth is outrunning by far the space we have. Yep. And so it's making us be creative. We're getting yep. very creative with our space and what we're doing and we're working with the city, and we're trying to get all the appropriate uh, permissions and documentation to get things done, which right. we have, mm -hmm. but now we just are right on the cusp of, of pulling the trigger, right? Yep, we need to get our uh, final plans approved by the city, so we'll be praying for a favor for that. Yep. That it just is a steady process, and it just gets yeah. through every department. I think it has to go through 40 different people's hands wow. mm -hmm. to sign off on everything. And a lot of it is just because of the uniqueness of this building. Absolutely. Of course, we acquired it for, what, like one-fourth of the cost? Yep. Somewhere in that ballpark. Yep. And when we're looking at everything, people have been asking me, or you, you see comments, and they say, well, how much do you have left to go? What do you got to do? Well, mm -hmm. it's been a little bit of a moving target, only right. because we got the property, then we had to take care of some unforeseen things with it, yep. a couple snags, and now we're working through the city process. But the momentum seems really good. It, it's yep. not negative. We're just really having to do our due diligence and we're, we're almost there. Yeah. But, yep. you know, so even when we're talking like building, since we're on this, mm -hmm. can you give us a little bit of a state of the union, Jay? Cause I'm always talking about, sure. I think we're here, we're doing that, but I have right. you now. So, <laughs> so give here. us a little insight here. What, are, what is the big picture? What's the grand scheme that would kind of take this phase, which is all phase one now? Yes. How do we, what is it going to take to accomplish phase one? So we've accelerated. So, you know, we talked about phase one, two, and three mm -hmm. last fall. Right. And so now we've basically combined that phase <laughs> one is we've got to finish our remodel. We've got to get a call center. Yep. We've got to get some more studio gear. We've got to hire staff, telephone systems, computer systems mm -hmm. yep. for where we're headed and the growth that we're seeing. Uh, not that we've been mom and pop, but... Right. We're coming into a new level now. Well, we were a little mom and pop. Well, yeah, a little bit. Everybody I, starts there. And there's but. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I, li I actually fought to keep it that right. way because I like small, uh, knowing everybody, but we're outgrowing that. Yep. Yeah. So we have 40 people now wow. that we're managing, and we can't even bring them all here yet Yeah. because yeah. we can't fit them here yet. Yep. Yeah. And so we've, we've basically come to the point of, okay, now we need $1.2 million. Yep. to finish paying off the building, right. to do all of these changes, remodel, updating things. And we've actually, the, our partners have been awesome. They have. Supporting the ministry. Oh, you guys have been great. Uh, sending thank in you. special gifts. Thank you for to that. To pay down the debt. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just, we've, we're to the point, we've got to take a leap of faith here. We do. 
yep. and get it all done. Yeah, so I'll, I'll make a comment about that. And Heather, if you have anything you want to add to yeah. it. But, you know, Mary and I know you talked to a lot of partners or you have over the years. And Mary was doing like triple duty, just calling partners and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but a leap of faith really is kind of where we're at. And, you know, we, I heard a saying one time, it's like you, you fire BBs before cannonballs. And so you, you set your sights, you make the target, and you, you release BBs, you know. And then once you hit that pattern, then you can launch something bigger. So we know what it would be to take a leap of faith. This isn't like a blind leap towards something. We know what the plan is for the ministry. But we are at the point that we've got to really figure out how we're going to get this taken care of. It's not the end of the world. God's with us. It's good. It's wonderful what's happening. But we want to get this knocked out. And of course, people have been generous. You've jumped in and we're so grateful to you for that. And I just want to say again, thank you to everybody that's found value in what we're doing and sewing into this. But anything you can do today, sincerely, would really be appreciated. You know, we have people sometimes, Jason, who was talking to us about, you know, we'd Maybe we would do like a legacy gift or we're going to sell sure. resources. Yeah. What would they do? Call you? How would uh, that work? Yeah, they need to talk to me. So then contact the ministry yeah. at josephz.com. Yep. What um, number would they call? My direct line is 719-657-1231. Okay. And that gets me directly to talk about legacy gifts. Okay. That's for legacy gifts. Yep. Okay. Great. Say that number again. 719-657-1231. And that's, that's your office number, but it's only for legacy gifts or if yes. you're going to do something monumental. Yep. Um, and then you'll directly get Jason. And Jason, you know, he deals with all of this and he'll take good care of you and mm -hmm. our team will do that. If you call the number just to chat or for prayer request, <laughs> I apologize, but you, you'll either get just forwarded on to the actual prayer line or something else. So this number is only for that. And we're just saying it because we're right here in the middle of all that we're doing. And um, it's, it's going good. God yeah. is so with us and yeah. I'm so excited, but we're right there and we're saying, okay, Jesus, you know, I believe we're supposed to take this sure. step. So we're going to, and we just need your help. Yep. And they're good problems. They're, they're great they're, problems. They're negative at all. We're excited. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, excellent plan of, a, of attack, if you will, or yeah. to proceed. And so we're just following the steps and being obedient. Praise God. Um, having good fiduciary responsibility. Yep. Um, we take it serious around here. Yeah. We're, we're fiduciaries of the kingdom, and we look at ourselves like stewards of what God's giving us, and we take it real serious. Absolutely. Yep. I have, it was fun earlier just this week um, having some conversations with our executive director, Holly. Mm -hmm. uh, who's not here on set who's today. Who's not on set today. She has been. She will be. Yes. And she was just kind of taking me through the process of just even with partners and with partner calls and more so with the process of what we do with our prayer partners. It's amazing. And it just, as you continue to sow and help, that allows us to get more prayer partners and to train them up in a way um, for the influx of growth that we've had. Everything from the books that have gone out, they've, oh my goodness. they've done well, and so we're getting an <laughs> influx there, plus different forms of television that we've been on and just things that we're doing with that influx. The whole point of that is, is because of you, we're able to hire quality people and That's train right. them well so that when people have a first time experience calling in, we truly can meet their needs oh, yeah. and meet them at where they're at and, and give them to the highest and best excellence mm -hmm. of whatever they're calling and needing or vice versa as we call out as well. It's so true. Mm -hmm. And, and Mary, you've had interaction with partners over mm -hmm. the, the years here. Yeah, yeah, but I have. It, they're just, we have the, I, I'm, I'm obviously biased, but I think we have the best partners anywhere. We do mm -hmm. have the best partners. It's always, uh, it's a privilege to be able to talk to them, pray for them, encourage them, but also hear stories, testimonies of how the ministry is blessing mm -hmm. them and encouraging them. And it's just really, it's an honor. It really is. And yeah. we've had some partners that were joining on with us when there was, like what, 10, 30 people yeah. watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and the Lord spoke to us to do it. And we were that way for probably a long, a very long time. Yeah. And then it started to incrementally grow by the faithfulness of God. He's just been so yeah. good to us. Mm -hmm. And so we also have Ariel, of course, we introduced her already, but you know, Ariel, you play a very integral part in just keeping us all organized. Yes. It's wonderful. <laughs> and I you serve <laughs> you serve as an assistant to Heather and myself, and yes. we're we're grateful for you. And 
And uh, Heather, just tell a little bit about Ariel, since people are seeing her again. <laughs> so Ariel, where do I start with Ariel? Um, <laughs> I thank Jesus for Ariel and Brandon. Yeah, um, certainly. It, it truly has been an amazing journey. We've known you guys since way back in Minnesota days. Yeah. And uh, way back then. But truly, I believe that the Lord has gifted you both for such a time as this and how the part of admin and structure oh, man, we need and the it. way your brain, <laughs> the way your brain works, it allows us and helps us mm -hmm. to keep everything tight and right so that we can truly hit our target. But man, it's been since, was that back in 2013? I'm trying to 2012. think. 2012. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. Wow. Seems yes. like forever ago. <laughs> yes. So that's that's wonderful. But I just I truly have enjoyed watching gifts. So this isn't a new thing. It's just more so it's fun being able to see your gifts move and working in that direction so that we can be more efficient from everything from travel well, to Yeah, well it's been great. So Ariel's been in corporate America yes. for a large portion of her tenure, you know, just working there, mm -hmm. running major organizations, helping mm -hmm. them become what they're supposed to be. And Brandon, your husband, who we just adore, uh, worked for Andrew Womack yeah. and, and some of his higher up staff. And we're very grateful yeah. uh, that he got some of the education he did there. And yes. uh, some of the leaders there were very gracious and they contacted me and they said, Joseph, um, and they're just great people. Mm -hmm. And they said, Joseph, um, Brandon did a lot. <laughs> and could we please, you know, I mean, is it okay if we still get his wisdom over the next year while he's with you? Yeah. He's going to be missed. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and so we were just, you know, I was thankful for that yes. because it tells you who he is. Oh, yeah. And it tells you what's coming into the ministry. Yeah. And you guys yeah. have just been such a blessing. And thank you for bringing organization and systems in here. Between you and Holly, mm -hmm. I think we have yeah. a power team. And, and I want to add, and of course your response was, yes, of course you can... <laughs> Have those conversations. Of course. Oh, yeah. When they asked me, of course. Yeah. Yes. Anything for Andrew. Yeah. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. yeah, praise God. <laughs> well, we got a lot going on. Yeah. It's been, a, it's been quite, a, uh, quite a, a journey this last year. It went from zero to here we are. And we have had a partner surge yes. over the last year because people, I think people are um, fed up with mm -hmm. what's going on in the culture. Yes. And they realize what has been normal is not going to work. So they're ready to try something a little uh, with a little hot sauce and horsepower on it. And, <laughs> and so yeah. we're just doing our best to facilitate that mm -hmm. and serve our partners. Yeah. And of course, every viewer, you know, we talk about the partners, but if you're a viewer here and I'm looking right at you, we, we really care about you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we understand some people just can't do things, but their heart is here and we're so for you. We're with you. We love you. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. But having said that, we got a lot of questions mm -hmm. and things we could get into. So, yeah. Mary, <laughs> it is your time. Are you ready? Um, okay. We're ready. <laughs> okay. You're ready. First question. Okay, with all that is going on in the world. Now, this is a, a partner viewer? Yes. Our viewers write in either on Messenger. Okay. Not Messenger. I'm sorry. Commenting on Facebook. Yep. Like emails, today. phone calls. We write them, <clears throat> we write them down and yep. try to get to them. So, this one is with all that's going on in the world... Fear is very present and even can be pushed at us. So how do we overcome and conquer fear? How do we overcome and conquer fear? Heather? Yeah, well, so if you're a believer, it's you really got to just get a hold of your heart. Sometimes you just have to do a natural thing where you just talk out loud to yourself and say, okay, you address whatever that fear is. One, you identify the fear, mm -hmm. and then two, you address it. And there's times with even myself or where... Or you drive with the fear. Yeah. Nobody knows that quote, do I, they? Mm -hmm. I don't want to finish the line. You're going to put like... <laughs> you could put a cougar in the car. Yeah. Like a mountain lion. Yeah. <laughs> you drive, drive with, with the, the fear. fear. Sorry, no, okay, too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Nobody, so, okay. No, do you want me... I just... I've only seen previews. <laughs> no, keep, going, keep going, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so that said... <laughs> With that, you you literally need to attack <laughs> these guys. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> no, the please, giggles. Heather, finish your thought. It's wonderful. I like what you're saying. But you literally, you have to one. You have to identify it when you're when you're dealing with fear. You you literally need to just stop and take a moment when fear is getting on you, and and identify it, talk to it, talk to it out loud, address it, and confront it. Amen. But then, I for for me, I speak in tongues a lot. That really does clear out 
a ton. It's just, it takes, it. it's like a flamethrower to anything that you have going on. But aside from speaking in tongues, you truly just need to speak to it and then speak to your heart. There's been many times of fear where I literally felt death come on me. Yes. And, and where I, I was like, ooh, I think I might be passing. I'm kind of hitting that veil point. And so, well, because you were sick, and we know the story, but yeah. you, when you say passing, you were dying. You were losing your life, and that's yeah. from dialysis, broken neck, lots yeah. of things. Yeah. I just want to make sure people knew what you meant. Yeah, so there'd be times in the dialysis center where if you can truly look at your hands, and I, it's, it's a faith act. It's no different than going when it was told to go dip in the, the river you know, th- you know, seven times, right. or no mm-hmm. different than Jesus putting mud in the ice. It's literally a faith act. The moment you open your mouth, speak to a thing, but sometimes you have to speak to yourself and engage yourself in the authority you have. You, I would literally look at my hands in those moments of fear, and I would say, I have God breathed on the inside. Yes. And I would literally say, I have peace in my hands. And I would literally lay my hands on myself, and I would begin to declare and speak peace over my heart, peace over my mind. I would let my body absorb that and, and feel that and know that it is provided because of the cross. He took so much on the cross for you. He bled so much for you that now it is it is the joy that he that you were it was, it says it was for the joy set before him which was us in you that he endured the shame he endured the cross but the benefits are you can lay hands on even yourself well there's been a lot of people asking for you to do a special healing program yeah. we would get a lot of requests for that mm-hmm. and i've seen them personally uh, the questions and all that so we're gonna have to talk about that i think you're working up to a weekly program at least, Yeah, that's coming. Mm-hmm. And yes. I think that'll be great. People can come in and uh, get their healing. They get their checkup. They, we call Heather a health care plan. Yes. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Prayer. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of healings in this ministry. It's been amazing. Yeah. But yeah. You know, Allie's living proof of it. Mary's living proof of it. Mm-hmm. Mary, you had a tumor the size of a grapefruit, yep. right? Yep. In your stomach in one of my tent meetings. Yeah. And, and what happened? You told everybody to just pray in, in spirit, right. and you, you know everyone was, and then all of a sudden you were like, in the name of Jesus, cancer, get out of this building, yeah, out of this tent. And in that moment, I felt like a hand of bubbles. That's the only way I could describe it. Yeah. Just come in and go like that. And wow. I immediately said, I'm healed. I'm healed. And the very next day, the scans said it was gone, and she's like, I could see where it was attached here, wow. here, and here. Man. Mm-hmm. But it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Cool. Well, we're thankful oh, to wow. have you, Mary. Yeah, thank you. We had a pretty <laughs> pi- that, I love that. Thank mm-hmm. you, Jesus. We had a pretty powerful mm-hmm. um, moment with Jason in our home where we had come back from a trip. Yes. And <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> it was really powerful. It was powerful. Uh-huh. We were standing in the kitchen. Yeah. And we had just gotten back from a trip. And, and I said, you know what? Hang on a second. And I just... I, you know, Jason was experiencing just maybe a little bit of some things. And I yeah. just said, I need to lay my hands on mm-hmm. you. And so before That's I could. Right. This is awesome. Even before <laughs> I could get, I think I was about two steps away from yeah. you. And I started to reach my hands towards right. Jason to lay my hands on him. Jason like flew into the wall. Yeah. And. <laughs> it's true. It hit me. Yeah. It was awesome. The, just the power of God. And saying that even with healing, the power of God works the same way with fear as mm-hmm. well. But yeah, Jason experienced some of that. That, that, that was so powerful. Well, when Heather gets going, she's like, I don't know, you, yes. you become 10 feet tall and people start falling <laughs> all over the floor. And, mm-hmm. and when she starts praying in like warring tongues, we go hide in the house. Oh, no. <laughs> no it's, it's really powerful, though. She's, yeah, she's, she's going to bust stuff up. You know, yeah. it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. But that same moment when you're praying for Jason, we were all there, yeah. and I remember he hit the wall when you laid hands on him. Yeah. But then, like a, a spiritual force came through the room. Yeah. yeah. Now we don't have this stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. No. You know, we don't look for it. We don't no. try to manufacture yeah. it. You know, if it happened every day, I'd love it. Wasn't even expecting it. Wasn't we were just we were tired. Yeah. We were tired. <laughs> dropping our bags. We, were we traveled dropping. for like two weeks or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we're back. We're just talking, and then after that happened. Then I felt a wind come past me, mm-hmm. really powerful. Yep. And we're all like, 
high in the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah, it was mm -hmm. awesome. And, um, <laughs> and the Lord began to speak to me, I remember, saying, prepare, get ready. This yeah. is going to take a jump. And, and Jason bore witness to it. Mm -hmm. I personally felt like it was an angelic uh, presence yeah. wow. that, that blew yeah. past me because it was different than the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is, there's something else that happens when he does things. Right. But there was something external that came through the room. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get weight on that road. Sure. If you want clarity on that, read Servants of Fire. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, get your copy today. Get your yes. copy today. <laughs> but, um, and I, I mean that in all seriousness. We, we, I really take it serious with the word of God. Right. Yeah. But that happened. And then the Lord began to speak to us. And Jason, you even had a word of knowledge. This mm -hmm. is going to really go. I could feel it coming. Things are happening. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just exciting. It was a sense of responsibility yeah. that we have to take care of these people God's bringing us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do this. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, yeah. we don't go live every day just because it's a blast. I mean, there's, it has its <laughs> moments. Yeah. But we go live every day because it's an assignment to, to you. Mm -hmm. It's an assignment to you viewers who are watching right now. Yeah. We really care about you and we're assigned to you. It's actually part of prophetic yeah. ministry. Yeah. Yep. responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Fear. Ellie, how do you deal with fear? Oh, fear? Um, that was Mary's question earlier. Yeah, it, I would say it's very similar to what mom said. Yeah? Just like getting in a place of speaking out loud. Uh, the Lord did not give us a spirit of fear. He gave us peace and a sound mind. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, there's actually this one worship song that I used to listen to over and over again. I would actually yeah. sing it out loud where it's... Um, uh, it goes, I have a hope, I have a future. I have oh, yeah. peace, I have a sound mind. Oh, BJ and Lisa song. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hope and a future. I got peace and a sound mind, right? Even yeah. when I cannot see it, I will still choose to We'll have to, to get them it. on here and break out the yes. guitar. Yes. Yeah, no, that yeah. song them on rocks. Here. Like, we, were, um, we were sitting in worship, and um, I was listening to that song, and I got a piece of uh, revelation with that. Yeah, wow. um, where it's like you you know the scripture you know it but it became a revelation of right. I don't have to live in fear I don't have to um, take on just because people say things or people um, live in fear and try to put things on you you right. can go back and go no 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 hold on yeah. no I have a hope I have a future God brings hope He brings I have a destiny in Jesus. Mm -hmm. We'll have to get them on here, have yeah. them sing it, and then everybody could have the song. Yeah, no, it's right now. I don't even know. We'll I just, know. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you we'll know, do it's, that, an, it's an awesome song, mm. and um, and what what happened with that is so anytime I would feel any sense of doubt, any sense of mm -hmm. unbelief, mm -hmm. I would instantly know that is not from God. Right. And I rebuke that in Jesus. Amen. Yep. And I would literally send it away. Like, yeah. nope. Because God does not bring fear, he does not bring doubt, and he does not bring unbelief. That's so good. And th that mm -hmm. is not God. So anytime you're in your life and you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? Yep. Like, what, why, why, why does my future seem dim? Why does it feel like nothing's working? Why does everything feel almost hopeless? Mm -hmm. That's not God. Well, that's a good way to address, in the same vein of thought, mm -hmm. dreams. Yeah. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. get dreams, they're tormenting, yeah. they're yeah. nightmares, yeah. and they wake up and they think, what was God speaking to me through that? And Sometimes the Lord can show you things through something that's startling, maybe even scary. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, and I mean like 90 plus percent of the time, if I have a dream that's tormenting, scary, or I see something evil, mm -hmm. I will bind it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I remind the devil and I remind my own psychological makeup mm -hmm. sure. that I am bought with a price. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He doesn't bring the torment to us. Mm -hmm. Fear has to do with torment. Yeah. And any dream that's attached to torment, I'm not interested in. Yeah, sometimes like I, I know I, I know how like this has happened for me and, and other people, how like there'll be reoccurring memories. Yeah. That almost become tormenting because right. they don't stop. Yeah. And and that is something where you get a hold of that and you and you go, No, I re rebuke you in Jesus' name. I resist you. Yep. And um like mom was saying, you speak out loud and you get in a place of Reminding yourself what the word says, reminding yourself what God says about you, yeah. and actually wholeheartedly mm -hmm. resisting that. That's right. And yeah. and not just up here, but in here too. Like, yep. Because your head can think, oh yeah, no, I, like I believe it, I believe it. But <laughs> when it gets to a point where you're reading the word so much and you're meditating on certain scriptures to the point it drops down to conviction. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. when you're really. Uh, that's when it starts talking back to you. Yeah. yeah. Read it till it talks back to you. Come yeah. On. I, I think we have, you know, to that point, but I just want to make another comment. I think we have the best team we've ever had. Yeah. 
You think so, Jess? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I really do. I think we do. I think, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, ministries go through cycles and seasons and, yeah. and um, you know, you, you just stand and, and wait for the right people. Yeah. yeah. And the Lord has done that for us. Yeah. Yep. He's been very gracious. I mean, we prayed for Brandon and Ariel to be with us for years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they've worked for us before, worked with us, volunteered with us mm -hmm. over the years. But just in this last season, we realized we came into a place where we really had to get some stuff organized. And yeah. it was all great. Jason reminds me of like, you know, that Spider-Man movie when he's in front of the train and he's got yeah. all those webs and he's trying to stop <laughs> yeah. the train. He's like, yeah, that, that, that's been Jason. Yes. And he's just like, coo, 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 trying to keep it going. And yeah. I was like, maybe we should get some other people here. And, um, and it's hey. been, Thank it's you more. Thank you, Jason. Mary jumps in too. Mary's Jason. editing books with me and then she's over here helping, doing broadcasts, working on a variety of things, everything from bookkeeping to partner care mm -hmm. to a whole variety of things. And of course, we've known Josh and Mary your husband, Josh, who's been one of my dearest friends for 33 years. Long time. 33 years. 33 years. I mean, we were, were children. Oh, we were little, little amigos. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we couldn't even drive. Amigos. And we were going around places. We yeah. were like children. Yeah. I wasn't um, alive yet. No, no. We, no I remember. <laughs> you, you were dirt. Yeah, we were, I, you oh. were dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a saying I grew up with. But we, <laughs> you but we used to them. travel the country together. And so you yeah. guys have been with us a long time. But, you know, the bottom line is, is, is uh, we have good people. Yes. And I think good people comes from just staying in the saddle, yes. doing what God's called you to do, not getting shaken by things. And, and there's something to be said for that. When people that really trust each other and you come together, you can really mm -hmm. help people. Like we don't look at ministry like a business. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and that's been yeah. one of our philosophies. This is not a business to me. Now there's business parts of ministry you got to deal with and legally stuff you got to work with. But this is not a business. This is a people thing. What this else? is a family. Family. Yeah. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> wow. Family. You're welcome. So, okay. But we recognize that, that God will give you more when you've been faithful to what you've had. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe this. The Lord spoke to me a few seasons back. It said, if you'll get the right people. I fe I've always felt if you'll invest in the right people, it's like if you build it, they will come. I felt that yeah. was the truth with people. Like yeah. we get the right people in here, yeah. the right staff, the right team. Then on that, that foundation, we can build anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've really worked on diligently. I feel like just now we're getting to the point where we have all the right people to yeah. really accelerate. And now we've got to work on the structural, you know, more bricks and mortar. And, mm -hmm. But it's exciting. And you're helping yes. us. You're helping yeah. us. Praise yeah, God. True. Mm -hmm. Mary, what else? What do we got? Real quick, I just wanted to thank Heather for saying, mm -hmm. use your voice to mm -hmm. speak oh, that's to good. the fear because you can't overcome something by battling thought after thought uh -oh. after thought. That's right. it's, you're, yeah. it's speaking directly to it. And Heather, Heather has an amazing teaching that I just want to totally shamelessly plug because it really impacted my life too. Um, but it's amazing. If you guys haven't seen or heard or listened to Heather's teaching, she has this amazing teaching all about that and exactly what she's saying. And some of those, and Ali, what you were saying with those emotions reoccurring and, and those thoughts that torment and like what Joseph was saying with the, the torment. And it's funny because even in John 4, 18, it talks about how fear is a form of punishment. Mm. And wow. it's mm. amazing because mm -hmm. Heather talks about all of this and those reoccurring go-to emotions that come yeah. and attack and it's a form of punishment it's a form Good, of Ariel. torment yeah. and how to deal with it and how to have victory over it so if you haven't man i get goosebumps when i think about it but <laughs> heather's teaching on that is amazing so if you haven't heard it it's amazing and it'll really bring victory in your life and just how to overcome that punishment and to yeah. punish the, yeah. the punishment yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah we don't push back darkness around here. We punish the darkness. Oh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. look staying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk That's about right. that thoughts and words thing. Thank you, Ariel. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. So what, when you have these thoughts that come, they are built, they're formed for torment. It's a form of torment. And, but when you get thoughts. But when you get those thoughts, you can't fight thoughts with thoughts. Mm. Mm -hmm. You absolutely, that's, that is right, Mary. You look like a crazy person. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm. You get mm. beat around. But, I mean, we have an exercise that we do in some of our activations we where, um, 
that deals with this. And so when you start, when you're having a thought, the only thing, the only way to get that thought to stop is truly to start speaking because on a natural level, your brain will come literally you by voice activation, it literally cuts off the thought that you're having in your brain. So if you're having a tormenting thought, you literally can cut that off by speaking the word, yep. by resisting it with your words, by countering it with your words. And I mean, there would be times in the grocery sh- store where I'm shopping, you know, and the enemy's just telling me, you're going to die. You're mm-hmm. going to die. The doctor said, did you hear the report? And I would literally have to speak out loud. That's a lie. And yeah. I would have other ladies and people next to me shopping and I would be like these labels because they would look at me because I would literally it was for me it was like, <laughs> the pendulum <laughs> the pendulum was kind of swung for me it truly yeah. was now torment and fear it's just a bully but my situation it truly was life and death it if was. I would have stayed in my thoughts I was. was going to die your thoughts matter Mm-hmm. Um, so I would literally have to say out loud, this is, that's a lie. Yep. And yep. I'd be in the grocery store and I'm like, eh, these labels. And I would just like, <laughs> that's a lie. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> this is not organic. <laughs> yes. Not organic. So I Sorry. would literally walk away and, uh, but it was life. It truly for me, it was life and death. I had to use my mouth to live. Yeah. If I stopped yep. talking, I was going to die. Yeah. So on the other side of fear where it's torment or harassment that's truly it's just that's what it's designed for yeah don't put up with that don't put up start talking out loud you need to engage your mouth smith wigglesworth used to talk about demons Mm -hmm. or things like that Mm -hmm. as a dog that comes in the yard if you're like oh hey Mm -hmm. don't don't be here you know you really should leave you know Mm -hmm. just please get out of my yard right he said "Uh uh-uh you gotta talk to it like it's a bad animal whether it's a dog wild animal you don't walk out there passive. You're like, get out. You know? yeah. Like, I mean, if you're thinking about a wild dog that's coming after one of your kids in the yard, you're not well, like, oh, dog. Well, that's just the difference. <laughs> Excuse it, me, sir. And, and it also <laughs> depends on what matters to you. Because let's say, you know, let's say there's a, if you were to look out your window and you saw a dog creeping across the yard, all rabid looking and stuff. Oh, yeah. And you looked out there and then you saw like a, a raccoon or something, or you saw a, you know, a rabid cat or something like that. You know, you might say, hey, kitty, get along. This dog's going to get you, you know, something like that. Because you don't want to see anything get hurt. Mm-hmm. But if you saw that, you might be like, well, you know, it's probably the end of that. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I'm not going to jump in in the middle of that dog. Mm-hmm. But if you saw your child in the yard. Oh, my gosh. And this rabid dog is creeping across the lawn. I mean, any good parent or adult, for that matter, mm-hmm. wouldn't even find time to get a tennis racket or a bat or something else. They'd yeah. take it on with their bare hands. Yeah. And so you just recognize there's there's levels of causation and things that you say, we got to stop this. Yeah. Yep. And that that's when demonic assaults are coming against your family, coming against your mind. You got to look at it that way like mm 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 mm. You know we've had manifestational stuff or stuff's getting knocked over in our house. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's it's kind of looking at it like how dare this thing tack what God loves. There you go. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm the pearl gray price. Mm-hmm. You want to make the devil upset? Tell him your value. Yeah. yeah. Before the Lord. Yeah. Me and myself, I have no value, mm-hmm. but I am his. Mm-hmm. So I might not be all that great in myself, but because Christ is in me, the hope of mm-hmm. glory, you might want to step off the precious merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. We, we need a place where you know how much God loves you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it's kind of like, how dare you attack this? What's yeah. wrong with you? Who do you think you are? Get out of are? my house. Who do you think you are? This is the are? Lord's house. Yeah. You get out of my house. Get out. Yeah. yeah. No, literally, you, get, you speak to those thoughts. You speak to the, the emotions, and you go, no, how dare you? How dare you get out of my house? Yeah. yeah. And so. Interesting. As you're talking, I'm getting words for other people right now. It's interesting. A lot of times, God will speak to me about things that are happening oh, okay. while we're talking about cool. other things. Yeah. And I got a word for a leader just now, and it's really good. Good. It's nice going to be Lord. good. But anyway, that's great. Awesome. So, okay. Well, well. J- Jace, I want to ask you a <laughs> yeah. question. We're going to get back to Mary because Mary's got a lot of questions. But, <laughs> yes. Um, Sorry, Mary, you have to wait for me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jace, where do you see by the Spirit of the Lord and what's been going on? Because you've watched this. Like, you're, a, mm-hmm. you're kind of a statistician of sorts, you kind mm-hmm. of track things. You've seen where we were over the last decade. Mm-hmm. You've also been with us. Um, man, maybe way past 13 years, I don't know, at this point. But you've been with us a long time. Yep. And you've watched patterns and principles happen. 
Yep. Where do you see the trajectory going right now, just for the partner's sake? For the ministry? Yep. Uh, I believe we will double yet again this year. Do you really? Yep. You see that? Yep. I didn't expect you to say that sincerely. Yep. I do. Wow. Did anybody else see that? Mary's like, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Go, Mary. <laughs> but, you know, no, we, we don't double for the sake of doubling. Every no. time we use numbers and numerical things, mm. we're not out here, like, doing pie charts and be like, this is amazing. No. Right. It's people. Yeah. Yep. These numbers are about people. This is not yep. about, Reaching look heights. at how far we're going. Look at how big it is. I don't right. care about that. I care no. about the people. Yep. But please continue. We have, well, it takes people to be able to make it possible to do what we're doing and what Double we're called again. to do. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have a, a million to reach for a billion. Yeah, a million for yes. a billion. We have some things that I don't know that we're talking about publicly yet that we're working towards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That will be the catalyst. We will, will talk about us. them soon, but we got to get through phase one first. Yeah. Yes. That's phase two. Yep. <laughs> so that will be the catalyst to be able to really enable us to be able to go reach that million to legitimately fulfill yes. that mandate and when we say a million it's not like oh we had a million views that's not mm -hmm. what i'm talking about we have had many 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 times multiple million views on one video or yep. upwards of you know 10 million views type of thing on one video yep. that's not what i'm talking mm -hmm. about we're talking about connection yep yes. i i would start measuring it if we had a million downloads on our app then mm -hmm. i'd start to be serious about it you know i think right now we're somewhere between the 20 30 40 thousand downloads okay yeah. somewhere in that range for our app but when when we get to a million i had a prophet come up to me and say when you have a hundred thousand active users on your app that's when it begins okay and i was like i had i said what yeah he didn't even know you know yep and so i find that interesting but so that's your projection what yep. do, you, do you believe that that's that's coming soon like some of these goals yeah because you're the one that reads the patterns i'm just in faith oh get up no, get up. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, wow. absolutely. Wow, Jace. We're not halfway through the year yet. And that's what I see. Wow. Not just just here, but I can prove it up here. Yeah. With st statistically. Yeah. Yeah, with numbers. And yeah. That's awesome. Because I feel things, and then I'll go look for it to prove it. Wow. Well, that's, that's just a, so. a tribute to our partners. and Absolutely. And this wonderful team that God gave us. You know, I... I I speak, I do the things, but the Spirit of the Lord gave us an awesome team. Yep. Like all y'all who are here on set, I'm thinking of Elijah and Eric over here. Mm -hmm. I just want to point at Elijah for a moment. You know, this, this man of God right here, mm -hmm. he, there's times he'll stay up all night. Let me, let me say this. Like we have the home team, yep. yeah. and then we have the travel team. Yes. And sometimes they overlap a little bit, and sometimes mm -hmm. people go, sometimes people stay. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there's anywhere from four to seven of us to eight of us that travel. Right. Mm -hmm. Because... We don't just travel like, hey, I'm going to speak somewhere. When we come to your locations or your church or meetings or conferences, Elijah comes, he mics me up, and mm -hmm. then he gets a shoulder mount camera, and he captures the video so we can air it for you for Red Church. Yep. Yeah. And he does that, does that. He edits while we're flying. Mm -hmm. He'll edit while we're home. Yeah. He edits while we're traveling, driving in cars. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes in the middle of the day, Elijah will be like in seated position passed out cold, just sleeping. <laughs> and we're all like, shh, <laughs> he's earned that. <laughs> so, he has definitely <laughs> earned that. <laughs> they make good things in Russia. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so now we have Eric as well. And Eric is, is really bringing up a, a lot more activity to this. And mm -hmm. our media team's not very big. Yeah, no. Not it's really not. Accomplish. Absolutely not. Oh, no. No, no. I blame no Elijah and I blame Eric for wonderful, excellent media all the time. <laughs> yes. So it's There's wonderful. There's five or six people sitting behind that computer there. Yeah. yeah. What's that, Jace? There's five or six people sitting behind that computer right there, although there's only two there. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah we have people that help and they do things, but really they spearhead this stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, Elijah, do you, you feel a calling to, to what God's called you to do here? Do you sense a calling? Uh -huh. The Lord's called you to do? I do. Yeah, and how is that for you? Like, do you feel the anointing of what you're doing? Yeah, I do. It's definitely a supernatural favor in everything that we do and just watching you minister to people, especially just day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, I love it. It's just the Holy Spirit. I just try to stay awake yeah. and just be a vessel for Him. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, feel pray proud. for Elijah because we're trying to get more and more help in here. Yes. Right, Ariel? Yes. <laughs> get more help yes. for, for... But we sure appreciate you, Elijah. And, 
And Eric, of course, we appreciate you and all the, the work you bring. But yeah, it's... That's what, that's what Jason's saying. The, between the two of them, they're doing the work of seven people. Yeah, that's Even what though he's there saying. are not that's seven people trying. back there. Oh, is that what you were saying? Yes. I thought maybe they had yeah. other help somewhere. No. I didn't know. No. So no. you were saying... They do. <laughs> you were saying there's five people yeah. back there, even though there's two. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They do the Sorry. work of that five. many. They do the work of five. Yes. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. When Elijah and I were in the Mad Max studio, that's what he called it. <laughs> uh, we had the studio that was all, right, Elijah? You called it the Mad what, Yeah. What was it called? Mad Max studio, yeah. And you named it because? Because it was a really cramped space. And yeah. then if I had to get to a camera, I had to crawl around through uh -huh. all the cables and stuff. <laughs> so. Yes. Mad yeah. Max, beyond the Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah. We'd be in there, man. And squeeze sideways to let Elijah buy. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, to, to not, to not yeah, bunk it was, down. It was a very small space, but we made it work. No, right. no we had guest, guest ministers come in. <laughs> They're like, oh. They're like, wow. <laughs> this is so, a lot smaller like, Elijah, than I thought. Elijah, come in here. Yeah, some of us, so and he'd just say, I can't. how you do that. <laughs> So we'd all be in there, but we made it look huge because of camera space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we got into this fireplace room where we've been shooting mostly now, mm -hmm. it was kind of like being in a stadium. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, it was big. We were like, I, so grateful. We're never going to run out of space in here. <laughs> and here we are. We are maxed out in this room. Two yes. weeks later. Two <laughs> weeks later. We're <laughs> <laughs> maxed. We're maxed out. Back then, with all the zip ties and duct tape, it was kind of like that scene in Madagascar where he's like, Maurice, it's more fun when you put your hands in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to separation of the classes? Is that bad? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, Mort, stop it, you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is when they shoot. That's the second biggest slingshot I've, I've ever seen. seen. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I think those locks are the plates like, Doing this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that literally, that was our Z Ministry studio. That was like, but it flew. Yeah. <laughs> and, got it. Oh, yeah. and, there. and when they landed, they're like, they're like uh, how many people are here? He's like, there are two bodies unaccounted for. And he's like, that's a number I can live with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two passengers so unaccounted for. Oh my god! That's a number I can live with. Oh my god! Elijah, can we show like the the boom, like the? I want to show the the set from up above, just so everybody can see. So here we are, over we're here. in the set, and you can yeah. see us, you know. But we're we're down here. This is the fireplace room. Now we're looking up at you, but this is the fireplace room, and we're here, and and we're max. We're wall to wall in here. Yeah. And so we have to change this set mm -hmm. out sometimes mm -hmm. for the morning lives. Then, then today, the morning uh, mm -hmm. that we're doing, you know, no limits. Uh, we, we have to change it up for different things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we just got to prepare for things. And so um, I got a lot of horsepower and manpower. We all jump in and do it. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this photo above the fire mantle. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to change that. Maybe yeah. we'll put a screen up there, but. Um, I'd like to maybe have mountains, something like that. That's kind of my vote. Yeah. Yeah. But um, if anybody has thoughts or they want to, you know, think about that, I'm, yeah. I'm interested. But I'll probably put a mountain scenery up there if nobody mm -hmm. jumps in on it. But, but this is the fireplace from studio. And we're looking to get to the world broadcast studio, which is much, much bigger. Yes. 20 foot ceilings. And we can have guests in and special events mm -hmm. and, and TV. We could literally slingshot the studio. It's we can literally. Yes. <laughs> Second biggest slingshot I've ever seen. Man. Or Jace, each you other. Remember, remember we were in Rio de Janeiro and the Lord spoke to me and said post-sale? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what this is. That yep. is what this we're is. living in what I saw. Yeah. 10 years? 2015. It was 2015. Oh. July. We're oh. July? Was it July? Wow. You got a sure. mind like a trap, Jason. Oh, sorry. Was 2015. <laughs> awesome. Obrigado. We in Rio de <laughs> Armadillo. 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 And, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. And Jason's for driving. Sure, Jason's so. like a human GPS system. We're, we're in these nations, and I swear it's like you lick your thumb and you just take us where we need to go. And, <laughs> it's a gift. Uh, it's it a gift. Ice cream on it. It's yeah. <laughs> just put ice cream on it. Mm. <laughs> Baskin Robbins. <laughs> but yeah. For the day. <laughs> need me a DQ. I don't need ice cream anymore. But the point, yeah. But the point is, is that the Lord spoke that, and here mm -hmm. we are. Yeah. And that's something. Yep. He spoke it to us. Mm -hmm. It was like an intuitive vision. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we all looked at each other and go, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? Is it 2015, it? right? Yeah. That's nine Interpret years ago. Interpret prophet. Is that nine years ago? <laughs> nine years ago. I was in the back seat of the car. Prophecy. 
And um, <laughs> our, our guide at the time was driving like he stole it. Yes. And oh it was God. great. So I got a little ill. Oh. I got ill in the back seat. And I put my head on my suitcase because I, I had I was holding catching my suitcase. air over some of those hills. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Bumps. <laughs> Sorry. That's true. Oh it was exciting. And yeah. something about the Lord with me that I think he's really takes entertainment. Mm -hmm. I feel this from the spirit. Yeah. The Lord likes to speak to me in very inconvenient moments. <laughs> like he'll give me a really powerful revelation at the worst time or yeah. just a really inconvenient moment. And I'm like, really, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm not feeling good. I'm doubled over. And it, it's like the Lord parted the heavens. Mm -hmm. He's like, Thou shalt have a post-sale media ministry. <laughs> it was kind of like that yeah. in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, Lord, what does that mean? And it, there was no answer. So I shouted it out in the car, post-sale. I said, God told me we have a post-sale media ministry. Everybody's like, what does that mean? I said, I have no idea. <laughs> but this is what it is. Yeah. It means that we're helping people get to their destination. It means that it's a media <laughs> ministry and we're picking people up. They set sail. Yep. Not mm -hmm. sail like you're selling something. I'm talking right. sailing nautical sailing terms. Sailing on a boat. Mm -hmm. On a boat. Mm -hmm. They set sail post after they go out. A lot of people run out of juice. They run out of steam. They run out of fuel. Yeah. But by the wind of God, mm -hmm. through media, we're going to get people right size and get them to their destination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, that's what, and that's also the name of what Joseph means. And God shall add. So he told me. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's just fun yeah. to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's really great. Fun to talk about. It was really that, that simple. It was that simple mm -hmm. all along. Yes. We're out trying to do yeah, yeah, post, it, a post. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, Allie. No, no, you're totally fine. <laughs> I, I just think it's interesting how, like, especially, I, I know this is anywhere, but I've noticed, especially in the ministry, it's like when, you, when you're consistent, the consistency, yeah. the stamina, mm -hmm. the staying power. Yep. Um, right when you think you're not going to see results are right when you think you're not going to see what you were looking for mm -hmm. and you still choose to keep going um i think in that moment that's when the lord's like there you go because now you're operating off of faith instead of your own intentions of things or your own wants and desires so good yeah. you, you finally get in a place where you're lining yourself up with what god wants you to do yeah and you completely let go of everything and it really is an act of faith of I'm choosing you. This is because of you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like a heart posture. Where you, and Pastor Mark Cowart just taught on this. You know, we love really? Pastor Mark. Oh, here. we love Pastor Mark. But he Mark. talked about how his friend General Boykin and different ones who um, teach this stuff in military terms. He mm -hmm. said, you know, we train soldiers. We train them for war. We train them and train them. Mm -hmm. He said, one thing you cannot train mm -hmm. is resolve. Wow. You can't train it. Yeah. All you can do is reveal it. Yep. through pressure, yep. through battle, mm -hmm. through intense, rigorous going after it. And there's something that separates people from when pressure's on and you have the choice. And it's not like it's good or bad, but you have the choice to say, this is where I tap out. Or no, by God, I'm going forward. Yeah. And it's, it's almost like an act of worship. This is my song of praise Come to on. you. Right? And yeah. you... you you break into this thing where you say, I choose to follow you. I choose to finish what I started by choice. And there's something that happens with that where the Lord's like, oh, you willingly gave me your future. Now I will meet you there. Yeah. And I believe that there's something in that, but you can't train resolve. Mm -hmm. You can't say toughen up, toughen up. You can't smack them in the back of the head and be like, come on, you got it. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Yeah. You truly can't motivate anyone. All you can do is reveal what's already there or reveal what's, what's hardwired in them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's strong. I can't remember if it was you said it or someone said it, but when you go through hard things, it's not, God doesn't like make you go through hard things. He doesn't right. like cause like bad things to happen to you. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's almost something on the other side of it when you go through difficult things. Yes. Um, that it's like God knows you're, what you're capable of. He knows your, your talents, your skills, all of it. But there's something else that happens when you realize it. That's correct. And um, when you know it, yeah, yeah, for yourself. And so sometimes I'm not saying God causes things, but He'll use it. Yeah, but it's like He'll use and it to to reveal um, reveal it to you. Almost. I've learned something else about this too, you guys. Sometimes the Lord will leave you in the fire longer than you're wishing, and you're thinking, "I want to get out of this." Come on, God, I get it. You know, 
it's breakthrough time. What, what's going on? Why? Why? You know, mm -hmm. and he will leave you in there longer and then even longer. Yep. And sometimes one more baking round, one more round. Ah, you know what? I think another until you understand what that is. And I think part of that for real high level ministry mm -hmm. yeah. is so we truly don't just walk away from people. Yeah. So when they're going through something, we don't look at it and go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead, like Heather and I, like at altar time, it's almost overwhelming for us because mm -hmm. yep. it doesn't matter who it is. Yep. When they come to us and they got a need and we're working through things, my first reaction, and, and I've had to learn to temper this, is just give them the farm, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. everything. Like yeah. fix it all. You know, I can bear this, but maybe you can't, and so we'll help you. And so we do that in prayer. I've watched you pray over people when I'm ready to pass out. And there's like, yeah, but I got to get it You know, what a shit about a Honda. Boom. And the floor mm -hmm. and yeah. healed yeah. and magnificent. Yeah. Especially since because when you were not feeling good and, and you were sick, there was, there was a period of time where mm -hmm. um, you were a last one in a meeting. Mm -hmm. And God said. Tube in her heart. Yeah. It's a, and, and like, I remember when you were saying how the Lord kept saying, wait longer. Just wait a little bit longer. Sit in the back. Wait longer. Yeah. And everyone else had left. Until finally the Lord's like, stand up now. And then you were like, oh. Uh, like, That's right. Like, I don't know. And he's like, do it right now or you're not getting healed. And you were yeah. like, oh, my gosh. And That's so. true. And that's when God healed you of blood clots going up from your neck, your heart, to your brain. To my brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. The and Lord took them away in two days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I would say because at least being on the outside seeing you and uh, you, you guys, how um, that's why you guys do wait to the last one. Because it's every, true. Every single person, everyone matters. Every yeah. down to the last, because it it's if we are to become a living sacrifice, in that sense. Well, it's an you know Allison, and you're like this, but all of us that are here are like yeah. this. But it's an honor to be in ministry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This isn't something that you go, wow, you know. Yeah. Jesus didn't come to be served; he came to serve, mm -hmm. and that's in the capacity of what you're capable of doing with the gifts and skills God's given you. And I figure if a lot of people are going to really help me, mm -hmm. my job is to make sure I'm on point. Mm -hmm. My job is to make sure I keep delivering what creates life for others. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's the spoken word. Yeah. It's the prophetic. It's, mm -hmm. it's doing that. And I, you know, just recently again, now we go through cycles. Yes. Um, we got really tired on trips. And did. You know, I talk to Rick all the time, and he's just the best. But you, know, you, just, you work through these things. You say, my goodness, I get so tired sometimes because we're going. But it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, and he began to talk to me about longevity. Yeah. Longevity. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got to make it so we have longevity here. But, and we're doing that. We're getting healthier all the time, doing the right things, being disciplined. Yeah, absolutely. But it's great. I wouldn't trade those trials for anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. They are worth their weight in gold. Um, it gives you compassion for people to be able to stand with them. It does. I can't count. I've had... I had We've all, everybody in their life, I'm sure, has come to a point, but countless desperate times, and then to be able to have a support there to help you to keep going. But it's true. Like post-sale, you do stay in there. It is the faithfulness that as you stay faithful, God shows up. Yep. Just do not give up. He's, he is excited to meet you there through your process. Yeah, in just a little bit, we are going to minister to you. We're going to pray for you. We're going to do that. But, you know, Jason, what do the partners mean to you? Well, they're everything to the ministry. I, we're just talking about travel, and we just traveled last week, and someone came up to me that I had prayed for three or four years ago. Wow. I'd never met her. Oh. They called in. They were losing everything. Losing everything. Hmm. And... Ariel was with me. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. try not to cry now, but yeah, yeah. just to get to meet them. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but that's why we're here. That is why we're here. Yeah. To bring them through to the other side. It's our job. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's ever been a trip where any of us have come home going, well, that was a bust. Or, yeah. I wish, you know, yeah. we should have just stayed home this weekend. Or yep. There's yeah. never... And there's been thousands of trips. There really has. Mm -hmm. You know, we've never made it about money either. No. Because a lot of, you know, you, you end up in green rooms, and there's so many good people, and I'm not sure. thinking of anybody specific or anything, but you end up in, a, you know, settings over the years, many years, mm -hmm. and 
you just hear things. Things come and go. And the first thing many people do after a meeting is like, how much came in? You know, what, what was the offerings mm-hmm. and all that? Mm-hmm. We are not of that spirit. No, we are not. As a matter of fact, I, I, that repulses me. Mm-hmm. Because what I want to do is be honoring to God's people. And we've purposed in our heart to give many times more than we receive. Sure. Even when we go to places. Yep. Yes. <laughs> because I so believe in God's economy. Yep. And Jason, I know you do. Yep. And uh, this whole team does. Mm-hmm. But it's, um, it's, it's about the partners. Um, I love what you're saying. It's funny to me because some meetings we've been at, people run up and they're like, is that Gene Bailey? <laughs> <laughs> they asked for Jason's autograph. Yes. Yes. Did they yes. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I want Jason's autograph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But people are like, that's Gene Bailey. Or he looks mm. a lot like Gene Bailey. And it's the last <laughs> thing on my mind. And I turned around. <laughs> Who when, said that? Whenever I've talked to Gene or I've had him on our program, I'm like, you know, Gene, you're such a good interviewer. I feel like I'm serving an Arnold Palmer to Arnold Palmer and saying, <laughs> how is that? <laughs> but uh, it's funny, the resemblance. People say that a lot. Is that Gene Bailey? <laughs> and we're just going to start saying yes. You should start signing it, Gene yeah. Bailey. <laughs> or just sign it, Jason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so messy, no one would know the difference. That's great. <laughs> Jason Bailey. It's a great, it's a great team and yeah. all that. You know, we've joked for a long time, though, that this is Mary's son. I mean, yeah. Mary's yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is younger than me. No, he's yeah. older than me. Just he's so we know, yeah, Jason's yeah. older than Mary, but I don't know how that works. Well, but. that makes this weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, praise God. Uh, but we've had a good a good run. I mean, God's yeah. done good things. Mm-hmm. We got a big year in front of us. Yep. Mm-hmm. We want to get through phase one before we really start hammering on phase two, and we'll we'll share some of that with you. Yep. But it really just involves we got to build on, we got to yep. add, and and we'll get into the details and minutia of it. And uh, it involves um, a lot of television opportunity. Mm -hmm. There's a lot we're looking at right now, but we can't fully get there to our full potential until we finish phase one. And that's this building. That's this building. So it's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. It is. Pretty powerful. And this is the perfect building to have. It's amazing. To create the vision that God's given us for what we're doing. It's true. It, it doesn't work for almost anything else, Mm-mm. but it worked for a great catalyst to start. Yep. Start. So this is phase one. We're working on it, and it's necessary, and it's just great. I mean, I, want, I can't wait till we get all the offices updated, till we get people, yes. you know. So, right, Ariel? Won't that yeah, be great? That'd yeah, that'd be so great. It'll be great. <laughs> can't wait till we get some good offices. <laughs> yep, it's good. Mm-hmm. Mary, do we have anything else real quick? How about a testimony? Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Based on what you, we've, we've been talking about, um, why we do ministry, what, you know, it's about the people. Uh, mm-hmm. One of our partners wrote in and said, Z Ministries has been such a, a huge part in her spiritual growth that she's not only been able to overcome things by speaking out in faith, but also being able to help those around her. Wow. Yeah. Huge. So that's a big yeah. part of Thank you, Jesus. why we do, mm-hmm. why you do what that's you That's a million do. for a billion. That's Absolutely. that's the grassroots million for a billion right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's awesome. You know, just how wonderful. Mm-hmm. And we love all our viewers. You know that. It's mm-hmm. you know, it's if you can partner, we're so, so grateful. But if you're a viewer, you're here. We love you. We're sure. so glad you're here. We understand people are in a position in life that sometimes all they can do is view. And we're grateful for you. We hope you get encouraged. We hope so. Yeah. That's why we're here. Strengthened. And that's how you get built up so that you do become stronger mm-hmm. mentally, spiritually, um, in your relationships, yeah. financially, yeah. all the things. It's wonderful. And that's such a great testimony to hear because, you know, we're not going to completely be able to touch this person who's had this testimony. We're going to be able to touch her circle of influence and Mm -hmm. so that truly is this million for a billion to reach out to reach into people's hearts so that you're strengthened and you have confidence before the lord and then you can you're you become contagious after that where you can begin to to uh, minister and speak into your circle of influence You, you know something else i find very interesting um you know, we've ministered, and it's so great. We run into, like, Ariel's mom. So as we're ministering, she's so great. You know, if Linda, if you're watching, we love you. We love bless you. you. Oh, she's watching, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then she prayed for Ariel and Brandon to be here. And, and it's wonderful. But the reason I bring that up is because we have so many of our moms. Yeah. Our moms are on the call team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
All of our moms. All of our moms are on the It's your turn, Linda. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Oh. (laughs) She's going to take you up on that, Jason. (laughs) Call Ariel. But but it really is a thing that we have so many of our moms that, you know, and there's there's protocols. We go through things. It's not just like, here's a phone, you know. No. But we have a very strict protocol. But they have to have the heart of the ministry. They got to love the people. And we never make it about us. You know, when our call team calls you, they're never calling and saying, hey, uh, you feel like giving today? You know, we, we don't do that at all. No. We only and, and very strictly speak to our people that we are there for you yes. and we're there to minister to you. So when you partner, the reason we can do it is because now we have all your data, your information, you give us permission and then we call you. Mm-hmm. And and that's a big deal. And so yep. I'm just thrilled because even my mom was yep. letting me know. She's like, mm-hmm. can I tell you all the people I called and, and what they said? And she'll give me a play by play. Oh, yes. Other people don't oh. always get the opportunity with me, but my mom, yes. <laughs> she's like, she's like, no, you need to know this. Yes. And I'm like, all right. Yes. And she always gets the ones that need to hear something from her. Yeah. It's, it's supernatural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your yep. mom, Heather. Yeah. It's supernatural. It's supernatural. My mom and just her life experience and everything from ministry and everything else. She's amazing. It's, we have wonderful moms and grandmas and moms on our team that they truly have a life experience. How about Ryan's mom? Ryan's mom. (laughs) Ryan's mom is ministering on our team as well. So I just, I am so grateful to the Lord that we have people that with experience, life experience, you know, longevity in the relationship with the Lord. Yeah. where, Where they will be able to minister to you. And that's the whole point. It's for us to be able to reach out to you and minister to you and reach you where you're at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it is true. We will never reach out to you to ask for it. Uh-uh. That's not what we do. We don't. The only we don't. thing we ask is what can we pray for? What can we pray for? Yes. You know, what's amazing. I hear this a lot from the call team too, is a lot of times they'll say, you know, I called them to pray for them. But then they turned around and prayed for me. And they say, you got some really spiritually astute people that are partners, yeah. like old warriors, you know, people that have been around a while. So they love the ministry because yeah. they, they like a little, little juice. Yeah. They, mm-hmm. They're like, I don't really care for that other stuff. But, you know, when you talk about the wicked lizard overlords and, yes. and you know, and you just get, <laughs> they like that. They do. Children of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah, there was a while ago when I was, doing the calls, um, this one woman, she was, she was on there and just the presence of the Holy ghost that was on her, yeah. like just all the, all the grandmas and the moms on there. Yeah. There's a lot of them where it's like just the presence of God comes through the phone and afterwards it's kind of like, you need to take a second because it's, yeah. it's, it is beyond words. Wonderful. It's an honor to have them. Yeah. I mean, a real honor, yeah. a real privilege. And the people that are on the, on our call teams, it truly is a ministry. So I know for us, when we go out and minister after ministering, there's a physical side to it, a mental side, but there's a spiritual, emotional side where you're kind of pouring out. And so I know for our prayer ministers here, it's like what you're saying. You Sometimes they do have to take a minute because of, you know, mm-hmm. it's just there's this exchange and, and that begins what? to happen that can, yes. One of the things that we're going to do for next year. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait, do you want to okay. say that a lot? Let's what? say, yeah, you know, yeah. There, there's things, you know, they got these prophetic things that happen, but <laughs> next year, I think we're going to really be able to extend high touch. Wow. All right. Mm-hmm. With some awesome. of the things we're planning. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're doing a lot of media, but we got a couple other things that we've not done really for over 10 years. Mm-hmm. But we want to do it with this team. Yes. And we want to be able to be available for high touch. Yes. And there's a couple things, not a couple things, there's about five things that we're really working on for next year. Yes. And we want to impact America. Come yes. on. Yeah. So we'll be talking about that mm-hmm. closer and closer. You know, we've got the New Year's Eve service, all the live broadcast, I should say. But we, we got a lot coming up. We got uh, the June 11th broadcast. Yeah. Um, gonna that's going to be exciting. You know, Mary, mm-hmm. you were t- asking me questions about prophecy before we started. Yeah. Did you have something like that or no? I do. You do. There's um, people that have asked, several people, I okay. know, um, have wondered, sometimes it seems like when you're ministering or you're on the whiteboard, you look and you've seen something uh-huh. and maybe prophetically, but you don't share it. Is that true? Are you holding back? Yes. There are times that I have that. And that happens um, not all the time, but it is frequent. 
in those times that it'll come so strong and I see things in the future and the Holy Spirit will not release me to speak it, but it impacts me. And so I have those moments. And that's many times when I say to people, hey, can you pray for me right now? I'm about to share something. And my track record internally is usually when I see things, unless the Lord blatantly tells me to do something with it. I usually share, I usually withhold anywhere from 50 to 80% of what I'm seeing. I'll withhold it because I believe that if God's, now that's if it's going to be really clear stuff. There's secrets he shares with you, but that's not for everybody sometimes. Or there's a time stamp on it. And it's also because if you release things, although it's accurate, if you say it a certain way or the wrong way or in the wrong moment, you can actually cause confusion or hurt people. Right. And, um, and there's things I know right now about the coming year. There's, there's things I know about what's out there that I'm not giddy to talk about. And not that it's overly negative either. It's just that it's, the, well, June 11th. On June 11th, when we do that broadcast, I feel a little more of a release over some things that I'm going to begin to share. That's going to be a live broadcast. We're going to be showing clips of Noah's Ark when we walked around there. Yes. That's going to be cool. Yes. We're going to show clips of the seven churches in Revelation, which you guys were at. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to show some of the Euphrates River, which is where we were, mm -hmm. at the headwaters of the Euphrates. That's a word. Yeah. I, I'm standing at the Euphrates River. The Euphrates River. And I'm thinking, how did I get here? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know that was part of the deal. All of a sudden, we're just like, hey, you guys want to go there? I think we need to go there. And I'm like, <laughs> I felt the Holy Ghost go, get ready. And we went to the Euphrates River where it starts. So mm -hmm. before it's drying out. Underneath that river is where those angels are held that's going to destroy like, what, a third of humanity? Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. And so I'm there and the Lord's speaking to me. And it's raining. And it was miserable weather. Yes, it was. And we're shooting TV with Rick. And Rick, you know, Rick's just a professional. He's so good. Yes. And, then, and then we did our own filming. And we ended up walking all over Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's speaking to me. At one point, because we're right by the border of Iran, you know, uh, there was a commotion outside our window. Yes. <laughs> and I... I How about that? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll show that on the... Because I took video of it. Um, mm -hmm. Out the window, there was this commotion. Then all of a sudden, there was, you know, a shot. And everybody scattered. And I thought, I'm so glad we're on the border of Iran. And, um, but we were in the place God called us to be. Yeah. So to answer that question, Mary, yeah, th there's things I see, sometimes over people and individuals, that I'm just not authorized to say. And honestly, this, so this will sound weird. But there's things God shows me <clears throat> or my gift sees. And if you want to know more about this stuff, you read Demystifying the Prophetic. It'll break this down for you. It's our third number one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For helping us reach people. But yeah. sometimes when I pray over people, I see things, and the Lord just basically says, put that to the side. That is none of your business. Wow. So I'll see just, it. It's just your gift working. It's just my gift working. And then you get to discern what is he saying to see or not, or say or not say. And uh, he'll say, that's not your business, Joseph. So don't, don't do that. Don't tell them. Because what you're going to do is over-initiate something or you're going to cause them to uh, get in a difficult spot. So when I was younger, you know, way, down, way back, yeah. I used to think, if I'm seeing it, they should know about it. <laughs> and, you know, that, <laughs> wow. Yes. There should have been a hotline back in those days for people. Because <laughs> I'd tell them things. And then they'd say, that's not true. And I'd say, you're a liar. And then I would tell them. And the Lord is like, you know, maybe you should cool it. But yeah. anyway, yeah. is that too much? No, <laughs> that's good. That's good. No. <laughs> and I can like anticipate some questions coming out of that too. You know, like why, why would God show you more than what you're supposed to release? Because I think that was really good what you just said. Yeah. And again, like plug for this book. I'll be Vanna White right now. It's amazing. <laughs> um, but, but that is, that's really good. That takes yeah. a lot of, that takes a lot of discipline. And you know, why do you think it is that the Lord will show you and reveal to you things mm -hmm. that to your, what you were saying are not your business? Yeah. It's, it's like if a, a construction person walks in a room, they know what's been done in a house and they don't need to talk about it. They know what color the paint was. They might scratch a wall and they see another color of paint. They now know what the house was painted. An archaeologist can see things that were in a place. Mm -hmm. 
professionals in their space just know, know things. Mm -hmm. and, and with me, or people that are in this space, yeah. sometimes you just see things. Yeah, you know, I, I remember I've heard other prophets talk about it. Yeah, it's, it's like what, we, what was just said here. It truly is your gift is just functioning. You're you know, functioning. a friend of ours, Ryan Pugh. Yes. I just love him. Love Ryan he, Pugh. He moves in a place of prophecy. <laughs> Nobody sees it coming, and then people yes. laying on the floor. And, you <laughs> yes. know, and he was here for Allison's wedding. And, yes. and I said, Ryan, do you mind just ministering to a few people? Like, yeah, man. <laughs> and people are like, oh, God, you know, <laughs> getting just, awesome. just blasted by the Holy Ghost. Um, but he, he gave me a word. And one of the things he said is, God can trust you with his secrets. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I thought, man, mm -hmm. wow. And so I take that real serious. You know, the Lord shows me things about people all the time. And, you know, some people say those things in a manipulative way where they're mm -hmm. like, I know things. Yeah. I'm amazing. And I think the Lord's like, I'm about to school you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's that's like, gross. there's no humility in that. That's gross. And that's not yep. the spirit I'm trying to say this of. No. I, I just, but there are, it's normal. Yeah. And you have to learn to get real okay with you, real comfortable in your own skin. And really have grace with people. Yeah. Some of the hard ones are is when you know people are bold-faced lying to you. They're just lying. Yeah. And then you love them anyway. It's like when Jesus looked at the rich young ruler, right? He said, looking at him, loved him, and then said. Oh. I think that's powerful because yes. he knew. The, he's like, Lord, I've done all this stuff since my youth. And Jesus is like, oh, yeah? <laughs> have you? You're amazing. But the point is, is that, you know, that, I, I don't know if I'm going on and on too much here, but that's... That's yeah. kind of the gist of it is that, you know, we're his to command. And if he shows us things mm -hmm. and gives you that release and that comes through practice, that comes through trial and error, that comes through the sense on the inside and intuitive visions and knowing yeah. if you should say something or not. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you know, when sometimes you don't always know when you hit it because it's just kind of good, but you know when you missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you carry that. Yeah, it's. Please correct me if I'm wrong. No, go ahead. Um, I but love it. some of my thought is um, just seeing different sides of prophecy, seeing ways the right way, seeing ways the wrong way, all, all that stuff. Um, some of my thought as to when you share things that the Lord did not tell you to share. Yeah. Um, like God is a very loving and forgiving God. Yeah. Um, but people have a harder time forgiving. It's true. And they have a harder time forgetting. Yeah. And so when you share things you're not supposed to share, um, it can hurt other people and it can cause offense or... Well, that's true. Here's, here's another example. And I think this is helpful. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say you're coming to a ceremony and they're about to cut the ribbon and they got it all up there. The balloons are in the net and the ceiling. Everything's getting ready. You, you snap a couple strings and the whole thing goes off. The, the streamers, the explosions, mm -hmm. the fireworks. Yeah, they're celebrating a major victory. Let's say it's a building opening. Let's say it's a graduation. Yeah. Let's say somebody just got you know, a major award. Mm -hmm. But now let's say you go there two days early and you walk in with a few people mm -hmm. and you go, this is amazing. Let's set it off. Oh, wow. And you start oh, wow. snipping yeah. everything and boom, 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 and everything's exploding. And yeah, mm -hmm. you knew what to do. You knew to see it. You knew it was there. The timing was wrong. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's the good. timing was wrong. Really and and that yeah. is, that's what a lot of prophetic people do. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And sometimes it's not yours to say. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I've been in places where, well, 2015, yeah. we're in Trump Tower. Yes. I mean, 2015, I'm in Trump Tower. And I said, Lord have you sent me here because you've told me to prophesy that he's going to win the election? <laughs> I looked at Heather and I'm like, this is it. I'm God's man. I get to be the guy. <laughs> and I'll never forget standing on that floor yeah. overlooking the city. Yes. And the Holy Spirit said to me, I've not graced you to know that. I've already told Lance Wall now. <laughs> <laughs> I've already told crazy Uncle Lance, you know. No, I've told Uncle Lance, who I love and adore. Yes. I just bless him. But I've told Lance. We love the Walnuts. Oh, we, yeah. oh, you guys. Yeah. They're the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the clearest people, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Acts like he's not. But that dude, <laughs> Lance yeah. is like, uh -huh. he's in another realm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, the point is, is God showed me that. And I didn't even know Lance when he told me that. I barely knew even knew who he yeah. was. His yeah. name was kind of out there a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spoke to me. I've told that guy. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. 
And that's when the Lord said, I've called you to pray for the owner of this building. You'll pray for him. And I said, Lord, is America going down? He said, no, America is one more round because the young lions are coming, all that. But again, if I would have pressed the Lord, I think there's things he would have shared with me and it would have been premature for me to do that or I'd have been out of my lane. Sometimes it's for someone else mm -hmm. and you're just there to quantify, pray it into existence. Yes. There's been plenty of places I've sat in the place and I thought I could light this up like a Christmas tree. And I could hit that target so hard and everybody would celebrate, but it's not mine. I'm not assigned to that. Yep. Wow. And boy, I've learned that the hard way. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that and, goes know. in line with what you write about in Demystifying the Prophetic, the uh -huh. revelation, application, interpretation. That's right. It, interpretation, application. Revelation, interpretation, application, yep. which lines up with spirit, soul, body. Mm -hmm. yes. Revelation, spirit, interpretation, soul, your mind, will, and emotions, you're sorting it out, other voices, body, application, what do you do? How do you act in the natural? Mm -hmm. How do you implement what you've interpreted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and people can learn more about that. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I, Mary, you know, you've really helped me edit this book. Remember when Rick called us? Yeah. We got the phone call from Rick. He's like, I have read every word of this book, at least up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And I want to go through it with you. And Rick, and you'll, you'll read it in his foreword. He, he, he spares no, I mean, he pulls no punches with me in that foreword. He said, I wanted to make sure this book hit the target. And I asked Joseph really difficult questions, and he did. Yeah. <laughs> he he did. did. Joseph, what do you mean by this? Mm -hmm. I was like, well, it's just my, you know, fruity prophecy, you know, fruity colored prophecies. And he's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. and, and Mary's there. And, and, and Rick was just uh -huh. wonderful. He was wonderful. wonderful. He he went through it. He, he helped us on every level with the book. He took real responsibility to make sure. He said, Joseph, this is your life's work. It has to hit the target. Our publishers, same. They were like involved. This has to hit the target. You know, and I have another book coming out over the next year that's already beyond this one. Um, and it's this prolific author thing that God's put on us. But this book, Demystifying the Prophetic, I would save all the books. And there'll be now words for each generation because I have a now word anointing to write books that will speak to the culture at that moment, what they need. But demystifying will be timeless. It's evergreen. It has all the tools. Uh, Mary, show them the manual. You have a manual, don't you? No, this is Mary's. Mary put this together. Yeah. Thank yes. you, Mary. Look at that, you guys. Yeah, just yeah. just kind of thumb real fast. Yeah, there's questions. It'll help people go deeper. Mm. And there's some honest sections where you got to examine yourself with, what's, with what you're reading and yep. then go inward and say, okay, Lord, it's, it's time to spend, it's to spend time with Jesus and let the Holy Spirit That's right. look over you and help you address some things that maybe shouldn't be there or should be addressed. But it's very good. It goes with right alongside with demystifying the prophetic. So you do them both together. That's so awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary. You did a great job on that manual, you're helping me mm -hmm. put that together. And I just honor you for that. And, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful. So I, you, you, you can get both of them mm -hmm. each yeah. at josephz.com. I think there's a special bundle price too. Is there? Yeah, there is. I didn't know that. Yeah. Special bundle price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, it's shocking the things yes. I don't know. Like I, I, I get in this ministry and yeah. I just, I just crank. I, I do what the Lord told me to do. And I trust you guys. You know, you do so good. And yeah. Heather, don't they take good care of us? They take amazing. And our partners. And our partners, amazing care of us. This, you know, that's the body of Christ coming together and working together as a team for the sake of the gospel and getting the gospel out there. And I truly am forever grateful for everyone that is here mm -hmm. that you guys allow us to fly our kite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As they're all smiling. And we fly our <gasps> kite. They're smiling <gasps> very big right now. <laughs> Prophetic ministry is challenging to administrate. Yeah. <laughs> and because it it's, can change a little bit like the weather. Mm -hmm. But... However, we do keep it very orderly mm -hmm. and within For that, a prophetic ministry, I think we get an yeah, A+. Plus. Yeah, oh. I would say for mm -hmm. a prophetic ministry, we do quite well. But it's because of um, our team. And yep. It's because of you guys and because it is. of your gifts coming out to, to harness this in an amazing way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because of you, Jason. It's because of you, Mary, of course, because of you, Ariel, yes. uh, Elijah, yes. Eric, you guys. Holly. Holly, and so many more. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, too many to list right now. It's a group effort. It really is. Mm -hmm. 
but you allow us to come in here and, and broadcast with the word of the Lord. And we do a lot of admin work. Don't get me wrong. There's meetings, you know, they'll put me through meetings where I'm like, are we done? Um, but they'll, they'll do it. Um, yes, put Joseph in an admin meeting and you will immediately see, watch his battery do this. <laughs> yeah. Or a financial meeting. Those are... Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we have, you know, we have a lot of eyes on everything. Yes. We take good care of stuff, but... I, I'm so thankful for all you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Mary you held up that manual. Yes. I was like, man, thank, thank you. you guys. Seriously. You. Never thought we would write books, but we did. What, mm -hmm. honey? I just said, love you, Dad. Oh, love you too. Mm -hmm. Isn't it great? Yeah. Isn't it great, Heather? It's wonderful. Well, how about we pray for the partners, yes. uh, pray for the viewers, pray for everybody mm -hmm. who's here. Just before we do it, uh, Jace, mm. how do they partner? What do we do? Anyone want to talk about that? Our website's the safest way to do that so okay. you don't get scams or. Yep. Any uh, imposters that has become an issue. But our partners, one thing I've noticed is our people are so smart. Mm. They avoid this. Like you guys yes. tell us about this stuff. Yeah. And people are like, this doesn't feel right. This isn't Joseph's heart. Mm -hmm. We're never going to solicit you. We're never going to ask you. We're never going to say, I have some orphan, you know, what ministry over here. We do support that, yes. but we don't talk about it. Right. Um, and the other thing is, is uh, what I want to say. We'll never start an email with beloved. No. <laughs> you know, I'm sure AI will Joseph get past does that. not use those words. Right Beloved. Right. Yes. Help us. Help us. <laughs> We're not doing that. Uh -uh. No, Jason, not please. at all. No, josephz.com is where you can partner, or you can uh, use the text function and text the keyword give to 719-259-0029. Uh, there are links on our app as well, uh, the Joseph Z app on Apple store or any Google of your favorite stores. app stores. Yeah. Just download it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's, that's how I would partner. That's awesome. That's great. Mary, you want to say anything about it? Partnership? Yeah. You can also call if you have any questions, you can call our office mm -hmm. at 719-257-8050. I think that's right. And that's the text correct. to give is different than the phone call. That's correct. And we're yeah. trying to streamline all this stuff, but you know, we started out kind of like real small and we slapped it together, so we're, we're trying to make more sense of it. But So there's the text to give, then mm -hmm. there's the call number. You can call, and our, our team will help get yep. them set up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all yeah. this is right on josephz.com. You can right. see it. Yep. If you're like, what did they say? Go to josephz.com. It's all right there. Yes. Yeah. It's all right, right there. there. We yep. even take snail mail. Yep. Snail mail. Yes, Which, do. speaking of, we're going to be sending out physical newsletters soon. We are. Physical mail. We're going to get into that. We haven't been doing that. Yeah. But we're going to do that. I think it's important for people to hold something. Mm -hmm. So we're doing more of that. That's coming. It's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, Allison, why don't you pray? Okay. Yeah. Over our partners and friends right now. Thank you. Every viewer. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Everybody every watching. Yeah, every viewer right now in Jesus' thank name. You, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Bless our thank you, God. I just speak the peace Favorite. of God yes. in your homes over your families and your Thank household you, right now. Yes. I speak the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Over enigmas and things yes. that are happening that in you don't Jesus fully name. understand. Thank you, Jesus. That God is sending the rescue of the Lord, the wisdom yes. of the Lord right yes. now Hallelujah. into your homes. Right now. The rescue right. of the Lord right now. Right now. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. You are you, strengthening Jesus. homes, God. You are strengthening families right mm. now. Right now. I speak to prodigals right yes. now. I say you come home in Jesus' name. Yes. Right now, lost children, right now, I command yep. you to come home right now in right Jesus' now. name. In Jesus' name. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. And I speak the joy of the Lord into your yes. house. Yes. Because the joy Hallelujah. of the Lord is your strength. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. And I say one more thing that everything has to bow to the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes. That's right. Right, right now. Right now. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Oh, so come on. Every knee has to bow. And right yes. now I speak to fear, doubt, and unbelief. Yes. You bow in Jesus, in Jesus' name, and we cast you out right now. Right now. Fear, yes. doubt, and yes. out, unbelief, we command you to go right now in Jesus' yes. name. And nothing but the joy of the Lord, nothing yep. but the peace of God right now yes. in you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Bless our partners. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Ariel, pray, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for our partners. I just pray for everyone right now, Lord. I thank you that you mm -hmm. just 
um, you have not given us a spirit of fear, That's but right. you have given us a spirit of love Thank and a sound you. mind. I thank you that you are yes. love. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you have given us your word to meditate on. Yes. I just pray for thank our partners, for our viewers, for every person out there that, that you would just light a fire of desire yes. to know your word, Thank you, Father, Lord. and to just yes. know who they are in you mm -hmm. and to know their value, to know yes, their Lord. worth, right. that they are worthy of the high price that you paid for them thank in you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank I thank you, you, Father. I thank, thank you for you, our partners, for our friends, for, for everyone watching right now in the sound of this broadcast, Lord. We bless them. We speak, yes. we speak increase, protection, safety, and a sound mind over Thank everyone. Yes. Thank Jesus you, Jesus' name. Jesus. Jason, Jesus. pray, please. Yeah. I just speak blessing over you and Heather in oh. Jesus' yes. name. Thank you, Strength, Thank you, wisdom, yes. clarity of mind, Thank you, no Jesus. distraction in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for, for wisdom over Ariel and Brandon, yes, Holly, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Allison, yes, Lord. Mary, all of our team, our call center in yes, Jesus' the name. Call center. We bless them. We give them wisdom and Over strength. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We just thank you, Father, that you're touching every single person on this team and you're giving them uh, a charge of a reboosting energy in Jesus' name. That's right. Thank you. That uh, we go further than we think we can go. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that we're the example of that post cell mm -hmm. uh, mission that we're on. Mm -hmm. uh, and we thank you, Father, for the, the honor and the privilege to to do what we do. Mm -hmm. and yes, to, Lord. And to be the ones that come along and say, come on, yep. you can do this. Let's That's go. why we're here. Yeah. In Amen. Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You, Anybody have anything else? Thank you, Jesus. I'll go and not stop. So. Well, share, <laughs> share something. If you got something, honey, come on. Thank you, Jesus. You do what you want. Right now in Jesus' name. Yes. God, I thank you for revelation, power, yes. and knowledge. Yes. yes. I, again, you, though, that is a word right now, the wisdom of the mm -hmm. Lord, the clarity of the Lord. Yes, Lord. I declare that you are clear-eyed. You are clear-minded. Yes. Yes. You have the voice yes. of God in your mouth. You have the yes. voice of God thank in you, your Jesus. heart. If you even know one scripture that you speak mm -hmm. out loud, there is so much power in that one scripture that yes. you declare and decree and speak over your life and yes. your family's you, life Lord. and concerning all things right now. I thank you that you are getting revelation knowledge of how he has built you, mm -hmm. made you, designed yes. you, that yes. you become Jesus. confident before the Lord and mm -hmm. that you continue and anything yes. else that we right talked now, about, Jesus. like lies and things that thank we talked about Jesus. here today. That yes. I, we literally yes. just shove those things aside. Mm -hmm. We push them aside and say, I was bought with a price. Yes. I was bought by an expensive yes. price. Yeah, that's right. I Jesus. was bought by his blood. The yes. blood of the and lamb. I, I was created in the likeness and the image of him. And I thank you, Jesus. You are showing me again today what you have purposed yes. me for, what mm -hmm. you have fashioned me for, that yep. you find joy in yes. me, that mm -hmm. you find joy yes. in not just your creation, but your child. Thank you. yes. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, thank you, right Lord. now that joy you, is coming. Yes. Encouragement you. is coming to your heart. Faith is arising in your heart. Right. Healing and wholeness is attained in your house. Yeah, yes. come on. Right now in Jesus' name. Yes. And I speak to your finances. Yes, Amen. to your Multiply. finances right yeah. now. For those who have sowed it's seed, you need to remind yes. the enemy come on. of the seeds that you've Multiply. sown. Multiply. You need to remind him of the seeds you've begun to sow. And you say, no, no, no. I have sown those seeds, so they are coming up. It That's is a right. basic principle. Yep. That's right. And I say to those seeds to multiply mm -hmm. Yes. Let not your heart be troubled, but take joy mm -hmm. in Jesus and take comfort in him. And I thank you that we have a mm -hmm. comforter right now. Yes. You have the yes. comforter and the comfort of the Holy Spirit walking you through every step of your day mm -hmm. and the days That's to true. come in Jesus. Thank name. you, Jesus. Thank you, and I would like to Jesus add one more name. thing right now in Jesus' name. Reoccurring memories, mm. reoccurring mm. thoughts Come on. Yeah. that are yeah. not of God, that are causing torment yes. and harassment. You listen to the that. sound of my voice. Yes. I do not come in my own authority, but That's I come right. in the name of Jesus. That's right. yes. And I say you leave them now, now. Yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Right now. Thoughts go, go you, right now. That's right. Jesus. That is broken off your life. You yeah. just say right now in Jesus' name, I command these reoccurring mm -hmm. thoughts to go. 
And leave me now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So now they have no more authority and they have to go. In Jesus' name. Thank you. We stand on what God told us. We stand on the word of God. And we say Jesus is Lord and everything has to bow to the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So those reoccurring thoughts, you go and you do not come back. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you. Said, Thank, you yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Can't get that at Walmart. No. <laughs> or <laughs> even Target. Not, Not even Target. target. <laughs> Not even Target. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Well, listen, let me look right at you. Let me look mm. right at everybody. You know, we really care about you. Yeah. That's right. We're here for you. Mm-hmm. We're praying for our team. We're praying for all this. But mm. yeah. we're here for you. Thank you. Lord. Every viewer, yeah. every person. And I want to say to you right now today, this morning, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is this world's throwing at you and all this crisis fatigue and madness, mm-hmm. you're going to be okay. Because yeah. on a bad day, you're anointed to be the very best there is. Mm-hmm. That's right. And a man or woman with Jesus Christ as our Lord, that means you have a revelation. Yes. Mm-hmm. And if you have a revelation, you're not at the mercy of a culture gone mad. The culture bows the knee to Jesus. So we got to look with the eyes of the spirit, not, not be you know, irresponsible with what's going on in the natural, mm-hmm. but we have to stand in faith because I believe as we stand and we act according to what God shows us to do, we have another round coming. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a challenge. But I'm telling you, victory is waiting. Hang in there. Mm-hmm. God is with you. I think it's Hankins who says, if you knew how good it was on the other side of your mountain, you'd move it. Mm -hmm. And that just means we got to speak to it, stand on it, and stay in the favor of God. I feel really edified by this broadcast today. This is way better than Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, (laughs) man. I I know if this is for someone, I'm just telling you, you can drop kick the enemy in your socks and sandals. That's all I'm saying. Socks and sandals. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) At least, at least Bravo's not wandering around the That's set. True. Oh, That's true. One day we had the wolf dog. You know, it's like we're all animal <laughs> people here. Dog. Yeah, <laughs> Bravo. He's, he's the Russian wolf dog. Yeah. He's, he's just a German shepherd, but no, Bravo. named Bravo. And he wandered around oh, one day. Oh, yeah. We're we'll just him. come. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> we are such uh, animal people. We really yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody here is. Yeah, everybody mm-hmm. here is. Mm-hmm. Well, we sure love y'all. Um, you know, you know how to partner, you know how to stand with us. Uh, we, we really are believing for help with this building, this project to knock out phase one. Uh, Jason gave us the total today. It's 1.2 uh, million to knock everything out. And whatever you can do, believe it or not, whatever you can do yeah. adds to that. It adds to it. Mm-hmm. And we're so grateful for you. We're, we're so excited about the future because we know we're going to be able to help you. And we want to get this call center established and work on this. And we're traveling at the speed of cash. Because we want to just serve the Lord that way and be good fiduciaries of what he's called us to do. So if you feel compelled to do that, maybe somebody says, you know, I want to do something significant. Well, you want to call, get a hold of Jason, ask for Jason. And if you want to do something, you know, there's people that do legacy giving. Mm -hmm. We have that. We're setting that up. You can do that. That means, you know, at the the end of your days, if you want to do something that uh, really benefits the kingdom of God and, and spreads the gospel and helps go forward, well, please consider this place yeah. because we want to create a legacy for the gospel. It's not just about me, I'll tell you that, that there's going to be a multiplier that begins to happen uh, throughout our tenure. And I believe that as people sow into this place, the gospel will multiply outward. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Were you going to say something, Jason? No. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were getting my attention. I have lots there. of thoughts. Lots of thoughts, yeah. <laughs> Let's wind it down. Okay, all right. Praise God. The coffee's <laughs> kicking in. Yeah, praise God. Well, Well, praise God. I I just want to say thank you to everybody. You know, um, we're just so grateful to do this. It's an honor. We love you. We have a lot of meetings coming up. Please watch. Um, We're going to have an uh, updated itinerary on the website that's coming now. You'll be able to see what we're doing, when we're doing it. And don't miss June 11th. June 11th, 7 p.m. Tuesday night. We're going to be able to be broadcasting a very special prophetic update for you about the future of America, our trip to the seven churches in Noah's Ark. You don't want to miss that. Sign up for all the notifications to be on that, and I'll tell you what, it's going to be a blessing to you. We'll see you there. 
And don't miss Red Church Sunday morning. We're going to be doing that. Then we'll be right back at it Monday morning with the live, uh, Prophecy Live every Monday morning, Monday through Friday, then Saturday, No Limits, and of course, Red Church. And then we have the periodic uh, No Limits where we just talk about crazy stuff. So (laughs) praise God. Well, we love you. Jesus is Lord. And um, watch this announcement. I want you to see this about June 11th. Please watch this. And there's more here. Please don't leave. Watch this part. This will really help you. Thank you so much. We love you. We'll see you next time. God bless you. I wanted to say a very special thank you to our partners. Partners, thank you. Whether you've been a partner with us since the very beginning, the early days, or whether you've recently become a part of our partner family, I want to just simply thank you. Because of you, we're able to do so many things that we could never have accomplished without you working with us together. We're so grateful for you. And from the very bottom of our hearts, we wanted to say thank you to you. And we pray for you every day, and we stand with you, and we're believing God is going to do magnificent things through this partner family in the coming days. As a matter of fact, I have a promise from the Holy Spirit about it. Now, if you want to become part of our partner family, or you're even on the fence about it, thinking about it, I would encourage you to do so today by going to josephz.com, or you can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. Your partnership helps us advance the gospel, and it helps us fulfill the commission God's given us to raise up a million to reach a billion. That's lives. A million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers to go win a billion. A million for a billion. And we know we can do it with your help. I believe with your help, we can impact the world. And we're looking forward to stepping into this at a greater capacity than ever before. I just want to say thank you and invite you to the family by going to josephz.com today. On June the 11th, I have a very special prophetic broadcast that I really want to tell you about. I just came back from a tour of the seven churches of the book of Revelation. And in addition to that, I was at the site, get this, of Noah's Ark over in Turkey. There was a powerful word God began to speak to me through this time. I even visited the headwaters of the Euphrates River. All of these moments were prophetic assignments that I went on for a 40-day journey. And now that I'm back, I have a very special word that I believe involves the future of America. I'm going to show you some of the sites we visited, what happened there. I'm going to talk about a lot of things, but ultimately, I have a prophetic now word for the future of America of America. And we're going to be talking about this on June the 11th on a live broadcast. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to sign up to get notified when we're live. You can do that by going to josephz.com or you can join our text to join list at 719-719-3637. Text the keyword join and we will notify you of this special event. I hope you sign up for it. Click yes on the event and we will see you June the 11th for this very important now word.